that rascally Cupid is out shooting his arrow again, and you know what that means. (laughs) (laughs) Valentine's Day is just around the corner. You're listening to Queer Money episode number 246. Year after year, as soon as New Year's Day ends, we suddenly get a ton of traffic to DebtFreeGuys.com yeah. from people <laughs> searching for all things Valentine's Day. So today we're sharing our seven favorite Valentine's Day date ideas for gay couples. We make the Queer Money podcast for you, so please email your money questions to questions at DebtFreeGuys.com or post them in the Queer Money Facebook group, and we may answer your question in an upcoming episode. So, um, honey. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Valentine's Day is around the corner. <laughs> Uh-oh. I um, forgot to buy stuff. <laughs> uh, fail. <laughs> and this is why we're doing this podcast so early, so you can prepare. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so tip number one in our list of seven favorite Valentine's Day date ideas is uh, maybe a little weird to make number one, but um, I, I think I put it here um, subconsciously because I need more sleep and you need more sleep. So tip number one is to get a great night's sleep and then sleep in late. Uh, our suggestion here is to, uh, the idea here is to wake up naturally, get a good night's sleep, and really just enjoy your time in bed together and the time that you're sleeping. So turn off your laptop, your TV, your phones, all your phones, how many phones you have. Uh, turn them off early and get to bed early on Valentine's Day Eve. And then be sure to have your alarm clock turned off and all those pesky push notifications on your phones turned off so you can sleep in late. Now, once upon a time, sleeping in late used to mean 1 p.m. <laughs> and then it meant 11 a.m. And then it meant 7 a.m. And now it's like 5. So if I can sleep in until 6.30, that'd be wonderful. <laughs> and then after you're done, after you both wake up naturally and you feel refreshed, uh, jaunt on over your, to your kitchen and make a little breakfast together. Um, you can wear your cutest boxers or briefs um, or, or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe an apron if you're frying bacon. <laughs> I think if you're wear- frying bacon, you might want to be fully dressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, once you've made breakfast, go back to bed, have breakfast in bed, drink your coffee, enjoy some tea, but keep the technology turned off and just enjoy spending time together in bed in a romantic space and in a quiet space for just the two or three or four of you, how many of there are you in your relationship Mm -hmm. and just enjoy your time together. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of us could use this right now. We need a little break from technology, right? We're cooped up at home. We're either working from home so we're in front of our computers a lot or we're on our phones scrolling we sit in front of tv because that's one of the few things that we are able to do right now <laughs> yeah. so a lot of us could take a tech break right and that would be a opportunity to unwind and spend some time with the person or persons you love so tip number two is flipping that on its head <laughs> <laughs> well yeah to a certain degree but we're sticking with the uh the food theme here so date idea number two is actually the later in the day and that is to double team cooking dinner together uh and you know john and i absolutely love cooking dinner together it's one of the fun things that we like to do put on some good music uh then make dinner and cuddle up with a romantic movie Uh, If you have Amazon Prime, which so many people do, uh, there are tons of LGBT themed movies out there. Many of them love stories. So if you hop on over to debtfreeguys.com forward slash 246, we have a list of our favorite LGBT love stories that are on Amazon Prime. That and a bottle of wine and a nice dinner and some cuddling and you've got a great evening together. Exactly. And you can really combine um, date one and two together, depending upon how um, active you were planning on being in the middle of the day. Yeah. And the other thing is, is that I like about date number two is that it is a, it is very budget conscious, right? Cooking at home uh, and getting a a low cost bottle of wine and uh, looking on Amazon prime. If you already have Amazon prime, then you're not having to rent a movie or pay for some sort of service already. So you have up an opportunity to keep your costs under control and still have a romantic night together. Yeah. And even if you get a a quality steak or lobster tail, um, you're going to save much more money than you would if you would go out or get takeout to eat um, for at least for that quality of a meal. So, uh, and then, then you know how, how it's made. And so it's healthier for you (laughs) too, unless you cook unhealthy with lots of butter, like, I'd like to. <laughs> so tip number three is to fight the butter diet. And that is to uh, work out hard together. Make this date at the gym. Now, this might not necessarily be COVID friendly, depending upon where you are and whether or not your gyms are, your local gym is open. Um, David and I are fortunate enough that the 
gym in our building is open on limited hours. So you might fall into that scenario, um, but hit the gym together, work out hard together. And then afterwards, go for a, a long bike ride. Or if you're in a colder environment that has snow, go for a, a walk together. Um, and eventually, you know, find yourself in a, a park somewhere or a bench where you can sit down, again, having some quiet time together and um, have a prepared protein and vegetable packed lunch that maybe you have in your backpack. Um, and then uh, spend some time outside together. And basically, you're being active all day. Uh, those that long walk and that long bike ride will help get some of the uh, lactic acid out of your body. And then when you get home, light some candles, <laughs> and then give each other mutual massages with some down tempo music, relax a little bit more. And you know, depending upon where the evening takes you, you might have a little bit more of a frisky evening than you had earlier in the day. <laughs> right. I love this because fitness makes us frisky, right? We get our blood flowing, we get our endorphins going, and then we oftentimes like to be amorous with each other. So that's a, a it's a, a great way to uh, take your day into the evening and still have a lot more fun and burn some more calories. <laughs> um, is this a prelude to my evening tonight um, since we'll we see. went for our first run in three weeks <laughs> today? <That's>, yeah. <laughs> All right. Date idea number four. Now, this one may not be something that you normally would think of when you think of uh, a date idea, but we want to start encouraging you again to talk about money. Remember, couples that talk about money together report having better sex and who doesn't mm -hmm. love that right and really the idea here is is that you're building trust with your partner when you talk about money now talking about money isn't always easy so maybe not start off the conversation with money remember we're we're all kind of sequestered here we're in quarantine and we are itching to get out and do stuff, that may be the best way to start this conversation. What is it that you and your partner want to do when all this is over? Do you want to travel? Are there things you want to do in your city? All of these kinds of things are things that most likely are going to take some money. And so you can ask yourself or talk to your partner about how are you going to do that? What, how are we going to save up for that vacation? Where do we want to go? What kind of hotel are we in a uh, rent or Airbnb? And how do we plan ahead so we don't have to put that on our credit cards? It's a great way to start that money conversation. Another great way to help you start that money conversation is to check out our couple's money guide. Our money guide is really the tool that we suggest you use to start those conversations. It's got a lot of tips and tools in there on how to start that money conversation with your partner. And for February, all the way up from now, all the way up until February 14th, we have partnered the couple's money guide and our budget buster bundle tool together so that you not only can talk, start talking about money, but you actually have the tools so you can start budgeting and putting in place those plans so that you have that great, oh, once we're over with quarantine, once we're over with core. COVID opportunity to get out there and have some fun. So hop on over to debtfreeguys.com forward slash 246, where you can find the link to get that couple's money guide. And the Budget Buster Bundle, two for one price. Yeah. Continuing with the sexual theme, as we're very big fans of sex. <laughs> in this, money and sex are talked about a lot in this, on this environment. Show. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that is you know, to, to plan a play date together, have lots and lots of sex on Valentine's Day, plan a play date together. Play dates are fun, uh, especially the more you get to know your guy or guys, uh, the more playful you can be. Um, and, you know, sometimes uh, sex doesn't happen spontaneous, spontaneously. Sometimes it's planned. And sometimes when it's planned, you can uh, be a little bit more um, adventurous <laughs> with uh, the ideas that you want to, uh, and the way you want to take the, the evening. Um, fi if you want to find a list of uh, some favorite ways to compliment your sexual play date, um, go over to debtfreeguys.com forward slash 246. And we have a whole list of, of ideas and tools and resources for you there to enhance your evening. Yeah, exactly. That's a fun way to uh, be able to express yourself with your partner and enjoy some time together. But another way is date number six. Again, thinking about the time period we're in right now. A lot of us are stressed out because we're, uh, we're, we're in lockdown and we're just tired of this. After 2020, we're ready for things to change. And many of us have been thinking about this whole idea of self-care, right? Well, not, why not do a self-care day together? Spend the day with your partner thinking about and doing things that are spiritual 
that will allow you to take care of yourself a little bit. Start the day off with some yoga to align your chakras. You know, if you go out and search YouTube, there are tons of YouTube videos of hot guys doing <laughs> yoga. <laughs> so if you're going to do it at home and you have the equipment or maybe order the equipment as a gift for, uh, for Valentine's Day, allows you to start that day off with some enjoyment uh, or uh, with yoga. Another thing we like to do, we start our, try to start our day off with as much as possible, and that is meditation. It allows us to, to kick the day off in the right way by focusing on keeping our minds kind of quiet or still. Uh, and it, the, one of the ways you can do this is download or listen to a guided meditation if you're first starting out. Um, or sometimes just put on some really chill music and just relax, try to sit there quietly, whether that's five minutes or 20 minutes, it allows you to start the day off in a relaxed way rather than in that scroll hole with your phone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> then once you're done, feed your body with the stuff that your body is craving. And that's not necessarily a bowl of Captain Crunch, <laughs> maybe something that's actually good for your body. So we're trying to take care of our bodies and our minds here. So something, a, a great breakfast of yogurt and berries and granola or something like that. Maybe skip the coffee today, do some decaf tea or herbal teas. So you're not amping yourself up. And then Check out a good book that is designed to help you think about spirituality. John and I have a couple of favorites. One that really helped us during a difficult time in early 2019 was the, is the book Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza. We have read this, both read this book several times. Uh, a couple of others, Playing the Matrix and the Untethered Soul. And it doesn't just have to be reading. There's also some things on YouTube you can watch. There's a video series called Inner World, Outer Worlds that we really like. Uh, it really talks about what's going on in your brain and out there in the universe and how there's parallels to that. Exactly. And then tip number seven of our seven tips uh, for gay date ideas for Valentine's Day is to uh, go on a hike together, especially because of quarantine. We kind of can't get outside enough. Right. And um, hikes are great typically because you can go outside, um, be just with the person that you want to be with, the, the love that you want to be with, and not and, and be able to avoid other people and, and stay uh, socially distanced and, and conscientious of, of what's around you. Um, so the night before, uh, pack a bag of a, a charcuterie board spread uh, and maybe surprise them with his favorite <laughs> bottle of wine. Put that in a backpack. Um, before you go out on your hike, uh, charge yourself with a homemade breakfast burrito and go for your hike exert some energy, get some fresh air. And when you've gone as far as you want to go, this is something that David and I love to do. When you've gone as far as you want to go, uh, sit down and have an intimate picnic spread with your, uh, each other. Um, then when you're done, head back uh, and head back home. Um, if you want a way to, um, to carry that wine a little bit more easily together, we have a favorite two wine bottle carrier that you can get at debtfreeguys.com forward slash 246 as well. So those are seven date ideas. We've actually got seven more for you over at debtfreeguys.com 246. We're keeping up with this 14 theme here. So seven now, seven later. Uh, so get on over to debtfreeguys.com forward slash 246 to find more Valentine's Day date ideas. And with that, enjoy your Valentine's Day with your partner or partners. So thank you for listening to another episode of Queer Money. Here's your Queer Money takeaway from this episode. Take advantage of the limited time couples money guide and budget buster bundle two for one promo to get the same, to get on the same money page with your partner and get your budget in order for 2021. Go ahead on over to debtfreeguys.com forward slash 246. Remember, we make the Queer Money podcast for you. So please email your money questions to questions at debtfreeguys.com or post them in the Queer Money Facebook group and we may answer your question in an upcoming episode. Thank you.